Hello and welcome. Today I'm sharing a simpler and easier way to analyze candlesticks, and I will reveal how to use confirmation to read market structure and trends. So if you could, like, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for the full video. What retail traders do is overcomplicate their candlestick trading and focus on things that are not necessary. For example, they start memorizing 40 or 50 types of candlestick formations, and when they start analyzing a market, they have to consider 50 variables before making a decision. I've made the same mistake when I first started trading. You know what happens when you overcomplicate your analysis. You start missing out on good trading setups, you are letting your losing positions run, and in general, you are overthinking all the time. So let's simplify candlestick trading. Among the dozens of candlestick formations, there are six basic candlestick types. The long candlestick indicates a lot of momentum among buyers or sellers. The lack of shadow indicates exceptional strength for one side or the other. A long candlestick may have no shadows, or a small one at the top or at the bottom of the real body. The significance of the long candlestick relies completely on its location. For example, a long green candlestick appearing within an uptrend could be a strong confirmation signal, but if the same candlestick appears after a downtrend, it's more likely to act as a potential reversal signal. The same is true for long red candlesticks. Within a downtrend, it tends to confirm it. And when it follows an uptrend, it's more likely to signal a reversal. A candlestick with average or relatively small range signals a general agreement between buyers and sellers that the current price is reasonable especially when short candlesticks appear in a series of sideways moving sessions. However, when short candlesticks appear following a period of strong trend in either direction, especially when long candlesticks have shown up, they can indicate a struggle between buyers and sellers, and a likely reversal in the trend, or a slowing down in price momentum. The appearance of a single short candlestick is not meaningful by itself. When a series of short candlesticks appear, it may show declining momentum in the current trend or be a symptom of sideways movement. The candle with no real body or a very narrow range, one in which the open and close are the same, represents a significant development. The fact that price opens and closes at the same place has greater significance when the doji also has exceptionally long upper or lower shadows or both. The longer shadows reveal an attempt by buyers or sellers to move price in the desired direction. However, the effort failed when the price retreat to close at the same price as the open. The meaning of the failure on one side or the other, or on both sides, affects how the current trend is viewed and what it means in terms of the likely reversal. For example, when a doji appears at the bottom of a downtrend, and also has an exceptionally long lower shadow. It shows that sellers tried to move price lower, but couldn't. This hints at the likely reversal and a possible movement to the upside. If a doji appears at the top of an uptrend and also has a very long upper shadow, the same failed attempt is shown, this time among buyers. This foreshadows a likely reversal and a possible down movement. However, just as long candlesticks indicate exceptional strength, doji candles indicate a loss of momentum and, based on the appearance of any shadows, provide strong reversal signals. Confirmation is essential in this case, but we'll talk about confirmation later in the video. One of the most interesting signals is an exceptionally long shadow appearing on both sides of the real body. When such shadows are found in both the upper and lower ends, in comparison to the real body, it shows that neither buyers nor sellers had enough power to move price beyond the opening and closing range. This failure of both sides to control price movement could be a sign of a period of consolidation. When a candlestick is up with long shadows on both sides and the current trend has been underway, it can signal the end of that trend even though both sides were unable to create more movement. In general, 
Long shadows, both above and below the real body, may be better understood in a multiple time frame analysis. When a candle contains an unusually long upper shadow, it signals that buyers have lost momentum or failed in an effort to take momentum away from sellers. If this pattern unfolds at the top of an uptrend, it is a signal that the trend may be about to end. If it shows up within a downtrend, it may confirm or establish continuation. Buyers tried to reverse the downtrend but failed. A long upper shadow candle often appears at the top of an up move and is often the lowest point in the downtrend and signals a reversal point. The appearance of a candlestick with a long lower shadow indicates a failure by sellers to move price lower, which leads to the conclusion that either the current downtrend is ending or an existing uptrend is continuing. However, the pattern can have either a bullish or a bearish interpretation. The interesting thing about this pattern is that it can be bullish or bearish depending on where it appears. The real body may also be either green or red without affecting the interpretation of the candle. A long lower shadow candle often appears at the bottom of a down move and is often the highest point in the uptrend and signals the reversal point. So now you have six candlestick types to analyze. But with all forms of candlesticks, significance is a matter of market context or market structure. Also, candlestick patterns don't always have to mean anything of interest. Some signals are really not signals at all. This is why confirmation is so important. Confirmation is an important aspect of candlestick analysis. It's the observation of separate and independent signals that verify what the candlestick pattern predicts. For example, a candlestick reversal may be confirmed by tests of resistance or support, momentum changes, or even by moving average-based analysis. Two or more candlestick signals may occur in proximity, providing very strong confirmation. A test of resistance or support, for example, may be first made by a familiar technical signal, such as a double top or a double bottom and then confirmed by strong reversal candlestick signals. Or a candlestick reversal may first appear and then be confirmed by failed tests of resistance or support. You need to rely on confirmation to improve your timing of entry and exit. The concept is necessary because no single candlestick pattern is always reliable. Even confirmed signals may fail. However, with the use of confirmation, the ratio of successful trade timing improves and failed signals are more easily spotted when a secondary indicator contradicts rather than confirms what the initial signal indicates. A confirming indicator may also consist of a second sign of the same type. For example, an initial candlestick reversal may be followed by an equally strong but different candlestick revealing the same potential. When this occurs, the reliability of the dual signal is much stronger. So the initial goal of confirmation is to improve timing for trades. Another value is found in how a confirming indicator identifies and confirms a bigger trend. A price trend may last only a few sessions or extend for weeks or even months. In my own trading, I rely on confirmation from moving averages, volume trends and divergences. These are valuable in identifying the likelihood of a trend continuing or ending. In this respect, confirmation not only affects the turning point in price, but it can also anticipate an overall weakening in momentum or development of a period of consolidation after a strong or rapid trend has run its course. Confirmation is also important when used to time entry and exit within the context of existing resistance and support levels. For example, there is a tendency for price to remain within the trading range until a signal changes current conditions. So a failed attempt to break out of the trading range is likely to lead to a price movement in the opposite direction. When this occurs, and separate confirmation is found in candlestick formations, the reversal has a better than average likelihood of taking place. If price does break through resistance or support, you face an immediate decision point. Will the trend continue and establish a new trading range 
or will the breakout fail and price will return to the previously set levels? The uncertainty of the outcome of a breakout can be clarified with confirmation through candlestick formations that follow the breakout itself. The short-term changes in price direction and strength may further be confirmed and tracked with the use of trend lines and other visual tools. Following a trend line helps identify when a short-term trend is likely to reverse and, if confirmed with candlestick reversal signals, it's a reliable method for tracking and confirming price and momentum. An uptrend is marked with a trend line drawn under the price levels from a low point, and it continues until it runs into price that has reached a high and reversed. A downtrend is marked with a line drawn above the price levels, starting from a high point and continuing downward until price reaches its low and then turns. Confirmation comes in many forms and is applied to short-term or immediate trends, trading ranges and momentum. Just as important as having confirmation is the opposite theory of contradiction. When two reliable candlestick signals don't agree, the significance is uncertain. You know the situation. You get a long lower shadow candlestick after a downtrend. You wait for confirmation, thinking to go long. And then price forms a long upper shadow candle, signaling a possible short position. Two candlestick formations that contradict. Most traders would gamble on this scenario would pick a side. In this instance, you have to choose one of the several courses of action to seek confirmation from a new set of candlesticks, to take no action until the market direction is clarified, to analyze volume and look for possible divergences, or to expand the analysis for more time. If you found value and learned something new, leave us a like. This way we'll know if you'd like to see more videos like this one and check out our academy program if you want to further level up your trading. Until next time.